Hi everyone, my name is Chanel and today's video is another So I'm back with another Shop My Stash Weekly Makeup Basket. I'm going to share with you guys everything that I used last week, what I thought of it. Um, show you some pictures of some different looks using these products. And then uh, I will show you guys some other products that we'll be putting in this week's basket. We'll shop our stash, if you will. So if you are not yet subscribed, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. It helps out my little channel so very much. Leave a comment, emoji, what have you down below. Everything helps. And now let's go ahead and get into this um, week's Shop My Stash. Okay, so I did use this Too Faced blush a little bit. It's kind of pinky when I go light-handedly. But I remember when I would wear this too heavy, it was very peachy. So I'm glad I used it softly this uh, week. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back into our collection um this mac blush broke like <laughs> the packaging is broken i was thinking about decluttering this color anyway so i will pop this into my powder blushes and i'll declutter it next time i do a blush declutter so this one is going back it's in the shade baby blush baby and this is the second one that they sent me because the first one that i ordered was a little bit darker and online it's described as like a light pink and this one's more like mid-tone light but um yeah so not my favorite so i'm gonna go ahead and i already decluttered the first one they gave me and this is the well the one i bought and this is the replacement they sent me but i'm decluttering this one um speaking of mac blushes here's the other one and this was in peaches this one was fine um i applied it with like a stippling brush and i liked it okay but yeah i will keep this one in my collection and <clears throat> hopping over to this She Glam Cream Blush in Love Cake. When I swatched it, it didn't look like it had shimmer, but when I applied it on the cheek, it literally looked like I had a highlighter, which isn't a bad thing, but it's kind of sparkly and glittery. Um, so I swatched it again on my hand that day, and I spread out the pigment, and that's when you can see the glitter. So beware if you don't like a glittery cheek. Um, I didn't mind because I put a sparkly highlighter over the top, but this one can go back into our collection. Not my favorite cream blush, and it's a very sheer and buildable, so that was actually nice. And then we had these two cream blushes that are filthy. In the nude and bareback, I used both of them, so these two can go back into our collection. They were nice. Here's the bronzer that we chose. Um, I liked it. Um, not so much on my cheek, like if I went a little heavy, it could look shimmery. But on my forehead, this looked very nice and gave me an extra bronze look. If you guys see any of my upcoming videos, if you see any of my upcoming videos, you guys will see how tan I look with this on. I love it in combination with my Project Tan one. This Bare Minerals um, definitely helped brighten up the under eye. We could put that one back for now so I can focus on some other powders that I'm using. This one I felt like darkened my foundation. A tad bit. I'm going to go ahead and put this powder back into our collection. Um, this Giorgio Armani. I used it one time. I don't know if the foundation mixer altered it. Because it wasn't glowy how I remember it. It was definitely more matte. Maybe I was just having a dry skin day. But I'm going to go ahead and pop this one back into my collection. Maybe when I'm more tan. I can wear it without the mixer. Here's the contour by She Glam. Um, it's very, very gray. I had to neutralize it by mixing in a little bit of my bronzer, which I um, apply bron cream bronzer every day anyway, so it doesn't matter. But um, yeah, I'm interested in some of their other shades, but I want to use this one in the backup bag that we got first before I do that. Our concealer of the week was this one. Very nice. Love it. Thin consistency. We can roll that one out and put something else in its place. Um, I think a lot of these things are Project Pan stuff, but lipstick. Here is our single eyeshadow by Urban Decay. I used this a few times. This one can go back onto our collection. My cousin, um, seen me wear it. He gave me some compliments, so I was super happy about that. So, yeah. Next is our Dior Forever Couture Luminizer 01 Nude Glow. This one with the bronzers went perfectly. I think I just need a tan to be able to wear this because when I'm fair, it does not look good. But with the tan, you will look golden and beaming. 
So I can't wait to pull this out in the summer. Hopefully it's not light, like too late for me. Um, then, but next up we have lipstick. We have 900 Glossy Fawn. This one I wore a ton. It is just a beautiful, nice nude, more on the brownie side. Not super light. I prefer more of a pale um, nude, but that's fine. I think we have another Gucci lipstick in here. Okay. So Goldie Red I wore a ton. I kept re reapplying it that day that I wore it. It's um, the Rouge Ale Voile in Goldie Red. Wore this one a ton. Love it. So we're going to pop that one back in. I didn't get to wear it on my cheeks, which I think I will do next time. Then we have They Met in Argentina, which I use only on my under eye. And this works perfect as a corrector. Um, a little more time consuming than my regular concealer routine, but it does the job. So I think I will probably keep wearing it that way in a few times on the lips. Maybe I'll try it out on the cheeks. I really want to try my lipsticks more on my cheeks. This one in Linda Beige was the perfect mixer shade. This and the Huda Beauty lip liner. Where are you? Made a match make in heaven with this, this glass right here by Kaja. So this was my favorite lip combo ever. Lip liner filled in on the edges and a little bit of the Linda Beige on the center and the gloss. Oh, this gloss is amazing. My lips look so dreamy with this combo on. I'm definitely going to be pulling for this combo a lot more. The Huda Beauty lip liner lasts forever on the lips. Love it. And I just love the Gucci lipstick formula. It's my favorite. <laughs> it's crazy to say that since I own a lot of lipsticks. But yeah, I really do love the Gucci formula. And this Kaja gloss, I feel like I'm going to run through it pretty fast because I was just applying this, like, nonstop. Unfortunately, this Maxalina lipstick went bad. I wore it and then had to quickly take it off just because it smelled rancid. So I'm going to have to back to Mac this. I filmed it a lip declutter and this one got decluttered. Um, I wore this one, I think, twice. One of the looks I hate it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to try to come up with better looks with this palette. And then the Natasha Denona Biba and Tropic. Tropic is kind of going bad. Some of the shades are not showing up like they used to. This one was very hard to even get pigment out of. Um, but yeah, I reached for this one a ton. I did nice warm eyes. And um, I reached for this one as well. Mostly the top shades. I think I went in with the bottom shades a few times. But it got a little too smoky for what I like. I much prefer glam. Um, but yeah. I will hold on to Biba for a little while longer. But this will have to be decluttered soon. And the Biba is not my favorite out of uh, my Natasha Denona palettes. But I am ready to shop our sash. Let me show you some of the new goodies that we'll be adding in this week's basket. So for eyebrow gel, I did pull out this Patrick Ta. This is his Shaping Wax and Clear. I just finished one up and I kind of missed the bushy eyebrow look. So I'm going to pull this brand new guy out. Hopefully a project pan will arise where I'm able to pop this into another project pan because um, I don't know. It's not that it's easy to pan. I already had major pan on this when I finished it, but yeah, like... I just like project panning, <laughs> so I just want to throw this in a project for some reason. But this will be our eyebrow gel for the week. I do have an ABH one in there, but that's the one we'll be using. I did purchase the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. This one is in Universal 001. This one came back in stock on Sephora. This one came back in stock on Sephora's website, so I hopped on it. So it's going out of stock, so um, I could have probably waited to sell, but I thought maybe it would not be in stock for the Sephora Via B cell. So I went ahead and picked this up, and I can't wait to swatch it for you guys. So I'm just gonna set it aside to be able to swatch for you. And then, um, on a separate order, I purchased this Dior Attic Stellar Gloss 354 Dior So Light. This one's always going out of stock as well so i went ahead and picked up this shade i love the formula this one smells like marshmallows it's just this nice light pink color so that'll be our gloss i will also swatch that one for you in a sec um i did purchase several of the nude sticks um cream blushes but i just picked out two here the rest are gonna have to wait for another week 
Um, I have the Bloom Formula and Cherry Blossom Babe. And then we have this other one in Poppy Girl. So I'll swatch those for you guys here in a minute. But let me go ahead and bring over my foundation drawer so we can pick out um, a foundation. So here's my foundation drawer. I really want to maybe use the Halo by Smashbox, the Shiseido. I really like to use the Halo, the Shiseido, the number one to Chanel, or the Beautiful Skin by Charlotte Tilbury. That's just my vibe. I haven't pulled for the Halo one. I haven't pulled for this Halo one in a minute. Um, I don't know if I was the biggest fan of it in the first place. So I kind of want to just see if I want to keep this around or not. And I'm either going to pull the Shiseido or the Charlotte Tilbury. And then maybe next week we'll pull the number one. Hmm. Should I pull all three? Maybe I'll just pull all three. If I use each one one time, that's good. And then I'll um, use my Project Pan one a little bit. We're just going to go a little excessive here and pick all three skin tint situations. So I'm going to go ahead and pop those three. And since they're tubes, they don't take up too much space. For concealer, I just went with the LYS. Um, it's newer in my collection. So we'll give this one a little bit of love. For cream eyeshadow or like single eyeshadow, I don't want to pull out my Tom Ford. I haven't pulled this one out in a while. It is in um, 01 Naked Bronze, so quick and easy look. And then also this Natasha Denona one. This small and cute. This is Helio. Um, it's from the Retro Palette, I believe. For um, eyeliners, I think I want to go with pastel colors. So we're going to go with this pastel blue one. It's in the shade Powder Blue. It's the Pastel Dreams Auto Eyeliner by LA Girls. And then this green one is in Magic Mint by the same line. So we'll pull these two colors out. Um, and those would be our eyeliners for the week. For eyeshadow palettes, I did choose out these two. This first one is the Ayana palette by Natasha Denona. I think there's some um, shadows from Glam. And then I don't know if these other ones are existing or not. But this is a nice neutral cool tone almost a moment. So I thought that would be appropriate for every day. Which I'll swatch. Um, let me take out... Some of these things to swatch because I totally forgot about that. Um, and then this lip liner is going to stay by Chanel, I think. Um, and the shade Nude Brun. If we use it, that's cool. If we don't, then that's also cool. So I have the Sailor Moon Pretty Guardian Palette by ColourPop. So this will be like perfect for spring. So I thought this will be a nice little spring moment. We'll pull this one. I'll give you swatches in a minute. This cream, not cream, this powder blush in soft peach, I did use it. Um, the formula is still not my favorite just because it's super matte and my skin is super dry. I just prefer like a luminous um, powder blush over top of a cream. So here are our um, powder blushes. So I thought for a powder blush, we would do... This mineralized skin finish and a warm soul. It's a beautiful, uh, not shimmery, shimmery blush, but you know, a little bit on the more luminous side since it's on that baked um, formula side. And then, let's go with this and these hourglass ones. Um, I haven't used diffused heat in a while, so we'll use a diffused heat. So those would be our two powder blushes for the week. I don't think I want to pull any more just because I will get overwhelmed. But we will definitely rotate through um, use some of these other ones. Oh, you know what? This one is beautiful. We're going to take Fairly Precious by MAC as well. And then next week, I want to try to rotate through more of these MAC blushes and work our way down um, this aisle and then our other um, bins as well. And then I thought that we would unbox this little Chanel package together um just because it's going to be our highlighter for the week for bronzer we are covered powder we have the dior um powder no powder and the charlotte silvery in there which are like my two favorites so oh my god look at this why does my package always arrive like this like if someone opened it little card i don't think i wrote anything to myself this time and we have some samples 
So for samples, I got this Chanel Chance perfume and then this little Lilith cream. Um, it's a night cream by Chanel. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the little Chanel pouch and put this away. Let me show you the highlighter that we'll be using this week besides the Dior. So this is the Rev or Reve, I think it's Rev de Camellia Illuminating Powder. It's a highlighter, limited edition. Comes with its own brush. So maybe I'll pop that in there to use. And then comes in a little velvet pouch. Here's what the compact looks like. And this is what the highlighter looks like. So beautiful. Isn't that so gorgeous? It looks a little peachy pink. So hopefully it's more on the champagne side. I don't really like a, a pink type of blush. I mean highlighter. So we'll give these things a swatch. So I guess let's start off with the Dior. Um, yeah, let's start off with Dior. So we've got a white highlighter. Oh, so pretty. We have more champagne highlighter or light gold. And then a pink one, which I'm planning on using like as a blush topper. Beautiful. And then um, more of a bronzy shade, which I want to use it as a shimmery bronzer. So let me give these a quick swatch for you guys. Ooh, they feel so smooth. Yeah, I think that bronzer shade is going to work out perfect for me. I swatched them out of order, but <laughs> there they are. Super beautiful. Cannot wait to mix and match and see what kind of concoctions I come up with. Um, I know everybody loves this, so I can't wait to try that out for myself. And I guess next we'll do the Camellia highlighter. I'm going to swatch it here at the bottom and swatch it on my opposite hand because I feel like this other hand's kind of... Um, ooh, this one feels a little bit thinner and more like translucent. So I wonder if this one's baked too. So I know the Dior one is like a big gelée formula. Okay. Yeah, this is more subtle. Do you guys see how subtle that is compared to the Dior? Maybe I should swatch it on the other side to compare. Okay. So there you are. This is the Chanel one right here. I think buffed into the skin, this is going to look pro probably very undetectable. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to have options here. We're having a little bougie week moment. What do you guys think? Um, I want to swatch the powder blushes next. So we have... This one is Cherry Blossom Babe. Hopefully it's like um, pretty for spring. I think this will go with um, some of the pastel eyeshadows. Like really cute pink moment here's what the stick looks like so i'm excited about this blush i own a lot of new six blushes um so i'm happy to add to the collection and then we have this other one and poppy girl which is more like a vibrant reddish color i thought this would be pretty like with minimal eye makeup or like i don't even know i just wanted to wear it i think this will be pretty in summer too Look how beautiful and bright that is so this one is in Poppy Girl. And then again, shared out, they probably aren't going to look this vibrant. So this one's super creamy. Um, it's from the Bloom Formula as well. And then we'll do Powder Blush. So we have this shimmery one and uh, Fairly Precious. I want to pick more of these up. Hopefully this packaging doesn't break on me like the other one did. So this one's more on the peachier side so we definitely have options then we have our more i would say it's like a light warm color more on the brownie side yeah this one's lighter in tone there you go and this one is called warm soul and it's right here Okay, so I went and got the um, 
the cream blush I was talking about. It's the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand and um, Pinkgasm. This one has been in stock for a while. I thought it would go out of stock because it was like sold out everywhere. It still is sold out on Sephora when I'm filming this. This is what the packaging looks like. Um, they had free shipping, I think. Or did I use ShopRunner? If you if you have a ShopRunner account, which is free to join, I believe, um, you can get it. Um, like free shipping, free two day shipping. So I got this pretty fast and. Look at it. It's brand new, so I'm going to squeeze it until it comes out. How freaking satisfying is that? Okay, so I'm going to swatch this one and give you guys a swatch. So here is Pink Gasm right here. Super beautiful, so I'm excited about this blush. So we have three cream blushes to work with and my project pan stuff, of course, is in my bag. So that'll be one of our cream blushes for the week. Um, we have one more powder blush to work with. This is the Hourglass one in Diffused Heat. It's an oldie but a goodie. This was like my first singular Hourglass blush because I owned the palettes in the past. But this um, blush is to die for. I'm going to swatch it on top of the uh, Chanel highlighter. So just look how pretty is that, like, oh my god. Perfect for spring, so light and subtle. Hourglass makes very nice products. So this one will look good, um, I think, with any eyeshadow look. So I'm going to pop this blush in. And then that leaves um, eyeshadow, eyeliner, and we forgot our shopper stuff for lips. So let me go ahead and grab some of the products really quickly. For lip liner, I chose out these two lip liners. This is the Gucci 01 Nude, 01 Nude Lip Liner. So um, I'll give you a quick swatch of this one. So there it is there, like a nice neutral color. Um, I'm going to the makeup bag. Then I also chose Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Pillow Talk. So I will also give you a swatch of that lipstick. I mean, um, lip liner. It's right here. So those are our two lip liners for the week. So let me go ahead and bring some lipsticks over here so we can pick some out. So here are our lipsticks. I'm going to go ahead and choose Pillow Talk, um, which I do want to start product panning this one. This is all I have left, and it is two years old. It's going to expire soon, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch this one. And then... Um, Put it in the makeup bag. So here it is here. Swatch right there. Beautiful, nice pink color. So we can wear that one. And I can wear it around the house. We'll apply it all day because I do want to use that one up. And then this nice rose tone color from NARS. It's the Audacious Lipstick in Anita. So this is what this one looks like. And I will give you a swatch of this one. Next to Pillow Talk, as you can see, this one has a lot more purple in it. So, there it is there. So, I'm going to apply that one for the week. And let's see. I think I'm going to hop over to the other container and pick a different lipstick out. So, here's this bin. I think I'm going to pull out a little mini Pat McGrath one. Let's take Christy, which is a light pink color. And then... Um, I'm also going to take this little Givenchy. I'm going to try to use this one as a corrector. It's actually in a project pan, so it should already be in my bag, but I must have took it out. It's um, in Mandarin Bolero, so it's an orangey color. I will give you swatches of these, the new lip gloss, and we'll move into eyeshadow. So here is Pat McGrath in the shade Christy. Isn't that a beautiful light pink nude? So... It is a little bit darker than Pillow Talk, a little bit um, lighter than the NARS lipstick. That'll be our third option for the week. And then um, this will be our gloss for the week. It's a Dior Attic Cellar Lip Gloss and Dior So Light. So let me swatch this one. And this one feels so good and it smells so good. Ah, oh, smells like marshmallows. I love it so much. Smells like a Rice Krispie. So this is Dior Solette. 
beautiful light nude. I think this is going to lighten up some of those lip colors to make them even more beautiful. Um, I forgot to swatch the Mandarin Bolero. Here's what this one looks like. Perfect for spring. Um, I love to pull this one out every spring. It's like this orangey color. It's going to look good with this blush right here by Nude Sticks. And the shade Poppy Girl. They're almost like the same color. And I'm also going to try to use this under my under eye to see how that works as a corrector. Then for... Um, let's do these eyeliners and then we'll do eyeshadow. So... This is the auto eyeliner in powder blue. And this is what this one looks like. Hopefully you guys can see pretty good. And then the next one is the lime green one in magic mint. Which is a nice green color. Right there. I love these eyeliners. They're so cheap, affordable, but good. Okay. So next, let's move into these little singular eyeshadows. So we have this one, which is a favorite by Tom Ford. It's a topper one. And um, Naked Bronze and then the Cream Eyeshadow. It looks like that. And there it is. Super excited to get more love on this one. I haven't used it in a while. And then Helio by Natasha Denona. Looks like this. Has a little pinkness to it. Like pinky brown. Love that shade. Looks beautiful. That'll be good for like a one and done situation. These two will be like my little one and dones. Um... And then we have this eyeshadow palette by Natasha Denona. It is the Ayana. So it's Harlow Lash Line Satin Skin Crease and Glam Green. So let me see if I can swatch these on the, I don't know, somewhere. So here's the Ayana palette. I think we just have the ColourPop um, Pretty Guardian by Sailor Moon um, eyeshadow palette to swatch. So... I think I'll swatch the yellow, the bright pink, and the purple for you guys. So those are the three colors right there. And those are the three colors. So um, that'll be everything for the Shop My Stash. I'm super excited to play with all these cheap products. Um, I think they're going to look absolutely gorgeous. These lipsticks are to die for. These pops of colors, like this bright um, lip color will look good with the bright cheek. And then these eyeshadows are just perfection. So let me know if you like this little spring makeup bag we put together. Um, and let me know what item you're excited about. I know I'm excited about the Chanel, the Dior. Um, I definitely am excited about the nude sticks. Then the beautiful lips, like these eyeshadow palettes, the little single ones, like everything is just sparking joy, even the powder blushes. So definitely the show October. So just comment down below what you're excited about, what you guys are using in your stash, what makeup items did you pull for your basket, and I'll see you all in my next video. Take care. Bye.